dear friends we will start our lecture number 8 on apiculture last time we have seen different types of uh, bees forager bees then gatherer bees or forager one and the same about the searcher bees they search the food sources etc and the varieties of bees apis dorsata apis indica apis mellifera apis and dammer bees up to that we have seen now we will see the actual pictures or the sketches of the bees for identification that will be better guideline for you worker apis dorsata these are the three apis dorsata worker queen and drone so this can be identified from their body sections then body enlargement thorax enlargement of the queen queen is ever larger and drones are identified from their eyes which are very large and bulging and body is stout with less division of segments here more divisions and they have no pollen basket for collection of nectar here pollen basket is there to the workers queen and drone have no pollen basket so this is the arrangement or structure of the bees now second apis floria so these are the small bees these are rounded bodies uh, but very small bees and queen is somewhat larger comparatively than the worker and drones then a worker is also smaller but it is active and having pollen gathering capacity and drone have no pollen gathering gathering capacity but eyes you can see that these are eyes larger and body is stout comparatively body is larger than the worker bees here about apis serrana indica a common honey bee used used in bee keeping industry in india and very best species collecting a good quality of honey pollen and everything uh, producing honey and collecting pollen nectar and etc so queen is uh, larger then worker is smaller with pollen basket and drones are stout with a bulging eyes so these are the three varieties uh, next apis mellifera so same as the previous bees we have seen that come somewhat elongated smaller but somewhat elongated and having a pollen basket good capacity of pollen collecting then queen have no pollen basket and drone also have no pollen basket the both have no sting but you can see that the eyes are bulging in drones in every every species so that we can identify it very easily and directly from their structure questions after completion of this chapter we have to study some objective questions dash dash deals with the rearing of honey bees in order to obtain honey and bee wax so these are the four options and this one is the answer apiculture is the answer which is highlighted in a dark likewise rearing of honey bees on commercial scale is called apiculture same definition reverse question is asked for in this way questions may be there to the examinations likewise in maharashtra dash dash is involved in research and extension of bee keeping so kvib khadi village industrial board it is uh, also available at pune and this board gives guideline trainings and information to the people and farmers CBRI is provided hundred of colonies to farmers from the training centers of Pune, Latur, and Nashik districts. So CBRI is the answer. It is already printed by Mr. Here. Actually, CBRI is the answer. The honeybees are belonging to dash dash phylum Arthropoda. Very simple because all the appendages are jointed. The honeybees are belonging to order Hymenoptera because they have a pair of wings. Dash dash is the largest Indian bee species. We have seen in last lecture among these four species apis dorsata is the largest and apis mellifera uh, floria is the smallest dash dash is the smallest of all the bees apis floria dash dash commonly called as european bee apis mellifera dash dash is called as indian honey bee because apis serrana indica is the bee which is best for the bee keeping in india the body of a bee is differentiated into dash dash distinct regions head thorax abdomen three regions 
Mouth parts of honey bee is a dash dash type, chewing and lapping type to collect the pollen and nectar. Dash dash bee is the smallest member of the colony. Worker bee is the smallest member of the colony. Drone and queen are larger than the workers, but workers are very active. And workers are the infertile or sterile female. This is fertile female and drones are fertile males. So these are the qualities. In worker bees, dash dash is the organ of taste. This worker bee tastes the food by using labrum. Pollen basket is located on third pair of leg called as metathoracic leg. Sting apparatus is a modified ovipositor because it is located at the end of abdomen where reproductive opening is also closed there. Queen is dash dash female, diploid female. Two n number of chromosomes are available in queen. Queen is dash dash female. Queen is the only fertile female. And worker is a sterile female. So this is about the objective and likewise questions may appear in the examination. Therefore, you must be ready yourself to answer the questions. In honey bee colony, dash dash is fertile male. So drone are the only fertile males and they have capacity to fertilize the female. In honey bee colony, dash dash is fertile female. Queen is the only fertile female because workers are sterile female. In honey bee colony, dash dash is the sterile female. Workers are the sterile female. Worker cannot reproduce. Therefore, workers are sterile females. So, reproductive organs are degenerate. The honey bee drone is developed from unfertilized egg. Whereas, queen and workers are developed from fertilized egg. The queen substance is secretary, secreted by dash dash gland of the queen. So mandibular organ, mandibular glands are there which secrete the queen substance. The worker bee has more than dash dash of population in the colony. The worker bee has about 85 to 95 percent members or 85 to 95 bees, percentage bees in the colony. The grub means larva of dash dash bees are larger in size than other bees. Drone and queen larvae are larger because drone and queens are larger naturally. In this way we have to study uh, the objectives along with some questions of the bee. You can also prepare some objective questions in spite of these others. How many bee, uh, indoor duties are collected by uh, bees in by which so we can say worker bees how many weeks or how long they do three weeks in this way another questions you can prepare at your own for the preparation of the examination and you keep yourself ready for the okay so the chapter is completed here so we'll take here a break a small topic is here and we'll continue in the next next chapter will be continued in the next so till there we have a small 